Hello and welcome to this video of GDB debugging. In this video we will learn about pack traces. So I had said in my previous video that I'll show SIGWIN and Windows setup of the programming but I will delay that video. So for the purpose of this program uh, finding the back traces of the function calls I have a function main which is the uh, mandatory function which calls function f. Function f prints a line in f and calls g. g prints another line in g as you can see. So now we go and debug this program. We prepare the program gdb5.c and then we simply run this to verify that it is working and then we say gdba.out and we apply two breakpoints at line number 4 and 8 that is the protest statement and then we say run so you see it has hit the first breakpoint and then we say bt which stands for backtrace or you can type the full command also backtrace hitting tab will auto complete it so it shows you the stack frame that right now we are at line number 8 of this file and this was called by this uh, function main at this line number. Then we say continue. Now it is in uh, function g and we can see this. So we are at this line number. It was called by f and f was called by main at so and so line number in so and so file. So this is very useful when you want to trace the call flow of a large program because uh, in a large program it's very hard to understand the entire source code. And particularly when you join a new company or a new project and you have to understand the source code and you have a bug to fix quickly, then this technique is very useful. So uh, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video. And uh, uh, if you have really enjoyed this video, because it's a short one, long ones you won't like, then please hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks a lot for watching the video.